Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen and I want to welcome you back to lesson number two with understanding MTHFR and methylation. In lesson one we talked about the basics about what methylation or what MTHFR is and what you can do to find out about what's going on with you and what basically genes do to code for enzymes and 250 cellular processes that require proper functioning. However, what I want to talk to you today is what exactly is methylation. So methylation is all about this CH3 group. That is a methyl group. So when we are talking about methylation, we're looking at how well your body is able to methylate or make a CH3 group. So basically the whole process of understanding MTHFR and methylation is about how well your body makes things and how well it breaks things. That's basically what it is. How well does it make neurotransmitters and hormones and immune cells and regenerate DNA and skin and hair and antioxidants and B12 and nerve tissue and gut flora and turning off a virus? How well does it do that? And, and, and on the flip side, how well does it detoxify? How well does it break all those things down? Does it eliminate it effectively? Does it not? Does it create free radical damage and buildup? Do we feel old and brain foggy and joint painy and gray hair and just feel like we're not thriving? Do we feel like we have colds all the time? Do we feel run down? Do we get depressed? Do we get anxious? Do we get um, uh, fatigued? Do we crash in the middle of the day? Are our hormones not working well? Are is our cycle not working well? Do we have hair growth where we don't want it? Can we not lose weight? That's all required by methylation. We need to be able to make methyl groups effectively. So think about carbohydrates. So carbohydrates, you know, we've heard the formula C6, H12, you know, um, C6, H12O6. Um, these are or, or, or fatty acids that are big chains of carbons or proteins that are carbons with some nitrogen and sulfur. Basically what happens is our enzymes will break these things down and then they'll add a methyl group on it and that methyl group will allow that, um, that food or that substrate to do something different. And that something different will be able to make energy. Because really it's all about making energy. If you're not making energy from the cellular level and you're falling behind on your energy demands, then how well are you going to have energy for fighting an infection? Or how well are you going to have energy for driving your metabolism and turning up the thermostat and making your body warm and prepared for the rest of the day? Or how well are you going to be able to focus and concentrate and make brain chemicals to be able to learn and feel happy? I mean, those are things that get put on, on the back burner. And while we're talking about that, this is all having to do with stress. Because as we'll learn here, there's these cycles that spin and our body is always regenerating. So think of it as watches on uh, gears on a watch. When we're stressed out and uh, we have um, psychosocial stressors or we have relationship problems or financial problems or we have an environmental toxin because the world is more toxic than it's ever been. There's pollutants and there's arsenic and there's pesticides and there's heavy metals. There's a lot of viruses and parasites and molds and I mean chemicals and there's all of these toxins and these are environmental stressors that cause these wheels to spin faster for your ability to have to methylate increase um, increase the demand for demand and supply to keep up so that's very very important so if you have a stressful life which we all do then when you have methylation problems which is what we're talking about then you're you're going to be exposed further meaning you're going to fall further behind you're going but what, let's say you go on vacation and you're rela relaxing and you go somewhere where you get out of dodge and you feel happy then typically patients will say, yeah, I feel a lot better. It's because you've slowed down these gears of methylation to have to produce things. So um, I just wanted to give you that concept in lesson number two, give you an idea on it's all about methylation. It's all about making things and breaking things. Over 250 cellular processes require proper methylation. When we're stressed out, then methylation demands increase. When we're not stressed out, methylation demands decrease. And so we really want to kind of create the framework as to what methylation is all about, how this relates to MTHFR, 
and how this relates to your chronic problem. So hopefully you're starting to get this a little bit. It's a very difficult subject. Rewatch this video again just so that you understand. And I look forward to helping you with your chronic condition. Thank you so much.